The banking authority in the region decided to expand the EU's anti-money laundering and counter-terrorist financing regulations to European cryptocurrency enterprises. The updated rules, according to a statement from the European Banking Authority on Jan 16, are intended to assist crypto asset service providers in determining how exposed they are to financial crimes because of their customers, products, delivery channels and geographical locations. The watchdog said that the recommendations also specify how cryptocurrency companies should modify their financial crime-fighting strategies which may involve the use of blockchain analytics tools. While the rules will take effect on December 30, the European Bar Association asserted that most recent changes harmonized the approach for cryptocurrency companies throughout the Union to reduce money laundering and funding of terrorism and represent an important step forward in the EU's fight against financial crime. The updated guidelines will add cryptocurrency and crypto company-specific risks and guidance to financial firms that hold cryptocurrencies or serve crypto firms. Mycon's crypto investor protections are set to come into effect in December, but EU member states can optionally implement an 18-month transitional period for CASPs, allowing them to operate unlicensed. According to information from blockchain analytics firm Arkham Intelligence, the Cray Scale Bitcoin Trust sent 8,730 Bitcoin valued more than $376 million to Coinbase Prime deposit addresses on January 16th. The transactions suggest that when the fund's share price dropped, it could have been obliged to sell off some of the Bitcoin holdings. A few observers have contended that the recent decrease in Bitcoin's price might be largely attributed to withdrawals from the trust. On January 16th, during midday US trading hours, the price of Bitcoin seemed to have steadied despite the withdrawals. One of the biggest individual Bitcoin holders in the world is Grayscale Bitcoin Trust. The majority of fund participants were unable to exchange their shares for Bitcoin or cash equivalents prior to January 11th. However, the trust was changed to an exchange-traded fund on January 11th. Some traders blame the higher GBTC fees for the outflows. GBTC charges 1.5% management fees, which critics say it's higher than most of its competitors. Core Scientific, one among many victims of the crypto winter, received approval for its Chapter 11 reorganization plans from the Southern District of Texas Bankruptcy Court. The Bitcoin miners expects to relist its shares on Nasdaq by the end of this month. Under the reorganization plan, the company will pay its existing debt and full and existing shareholders will get about 60% of the new company's equity, according to press release. Today's plan confirmation is a defining moment in our reorganization. We are poised to emerge by the end of this month as an even stronger company with a highly motivated team that is aligned for success, said core CEO Adam Suvillian in a statement. The approval came after the company closed its proposed $55 million equity rights offering earlier this month among the final steps for the miner to complete its reorganization. At the peak of 2021 bull market, when the Bitcoin price rose more than $60,000, the company was the largest publicly traded Bitcoin miner by computing power or hash rate, operating 143,000 mining rigs. The recent Bitcoin price recovery buyed by renewed interest from investors after spot Bitcoin exchange traded funds were approved by the SEC in the US and ahead of an upcoming Bitcoin halving has helped the company to out come out of bankruptcy. The miner expects to keep its pole position among peers when it emerges from its bankruptcy according to a recent presentation anticipating 182,000 mining rigs from its own operation this year and re ramping those up to almost 1.1 million in 2027. Core also expects to see nearly $600 million in annual revenue in 2024 and up to almost $1 billion in 2027. Well, that's all in this special segment. For more such updates, watch 3 TV or log on to our website www3 or scan the QR code. Thank you.